Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. When it comes to saving weight on a bike, most people would uh, upgrade the wheel set or the frame set or the handlebar or group set, but not many actually think of upgrading um, the water bottle. That's mainly because most water bottles, they are made out of plastic and they pretty much weigh the same. But with the new Fourier's aerodynamic water bottle, the one that you see here, it's not actually possible to uh, save a lot of weight in just the water bottles alone. The, the model that you see here is actually about 30 to 40 grams lighter than most conventional water bottles around. And it makes it possible now to actually upgrade your bike, make it lighter by merely upgrading the water bottle instead of other expensive parts such as the uh, handlebar or the saddle. Now these bottles, they cost about $10 shipped. And there are a lot of things to like about this bottle. I will get that I will get to that later. For now, let's take a look at the uh, bottle itself. At a glance, it does look like a conventional uh, cycling water bottle. Uh, Furious actually markets this as an aerodynamic water bottle because of the uh, dimples, the golf ball effect that it provides. Um, but I'm guessing that the most gains you're going to get out of this bottle is not so much on the aerodynamics, but more on the weight because for each bottle, as I said earlier, you can save about 30 to 40 grams. So if you're having two bottles like this on your bike, you're saving about 80 grams. Besides the lighter weight and the dimples on the this bottle, uh, one interesting feature that it has is a special type of uh, valve that the users that they've uh, designed that doesn't function like other bottles. As you can see here, there is no cap. I've removed the cap. They actually provide two caps for each bottle. Uh, just in case you're worried that you you might splash, you might uh, you might leak some water out. You can actually put this, but I normally take this out because there is a special valve inside that doesn't that prevents the water from uh, getting out. Even if you turn it upside down, I'll demonstrate it later. And inside, it looks like any other conventional bottle. Here, you can have a closer look at the uh, valve, the special valve that that is designed using some kind of a plastic membrane. Now if you look here and when I'm pressing it, you can hear the release of the air. It requires a certain amount of pressure before air actually gets out. Which is an interesting design. And I believe that uh, Furious actually has patented this design. And um, it's one of the main reasons why this bottle is currently my favorite water bottle out when I go out for riding. Now let's take a uh, Let's weigh this uh, Furious bottle and see how much it weighs. Okay, as you can see here, it weighs 62 grams. Let me focus that for you. Okay, 62 grams. Now compare that to the Elite, uh, Elite Jossa Nova water bottle, uh, which is a fairly common design out there. This one uses a uh, twist to lock nozzle uh, like this it's open and if you do it like this it's closed. So this one weighs in at 104 grams. So as you can see the Fourier's is actually about 40 grams lighter than the uh, Elite. Now don't get me wrong here the Elite is actually a good bottle. Uh, this used to be my favorite bottle because I like the twist design, the twist to lock design and uh, it's fairly good quality the bottle uh, i like how it feels and all that but with the furious that the furious simply has the edge over the elite one feature that i really like about this uh, bottle as i mentioned earlier is the uh, nozzle you don't have to uh, you don't have to turn on unplug uh, you don't have to pull the nozzle or you don't have to twist anything you just um, start drinking for it from the bottle by sucking at the nozzle and uh, there's no need to fumble with uh, closures or uh, with the nipple itself. You just put straight into your mouth and you, you can start drinking. So uh, that's really nice about this bottle. Another good thing about the Furious bottle bottle is that as you can see here, there is no graphics here. It may look plain to some people, but one thing good about this is that it doesn't, it never looks old after a while. If you look at other bottles where they have nice graphics and all that, it's nice when it's new, but after a while, you're going to get all these um, wear and tear marks due to the bottle cage rubbing against the bottle. 
but with the Furious there is no such issue because it will always remain um, it will always look almost new like this unless it gets dirty and you have to scrub it so yeah that's uh, a nice feature of the Furious okay now let me demonstrate how the uh, valve functions right here I have another Furious bottle which is filled with water and as you can see here there is no cap there is no cover here except for the valve and there is no water coming out even when you turn it outside down upside down or when you shake it not a single drop and water will only come out if you squeeze it hard enough oops so you can see there it keeps the water in when there's no suction but allows the water out when you provide it with enough pressure to um, bring the uh, to pull to squeeze the water out so yeah very smart design for the nozzle i really like this uh, nozzle design i would not um, go back to the ordinary uh, twist and lock design or the uh, push and pull type because that requires me to fumble with the nipple whenever i'm riding and this is really nice i do i do find that this is convenient if you're using those are uh, using bot this bottle for fizzle fizzy drinks if you have gas inside and the pressure starts to build up uh, after a while the pressure just releases by itself when it builds up to a certain pressure it will release the gas and you don't have to worry about the bottle cap popping off like what you can have uh, with this type of bottles i have had friends who experience uh, popping uh, bottle caps because the pressure inside builds up to a high level and the, the bottle just couldn't contain it anymore and the, the cap just uh, pops off but with the furious bottle it's not an issue because the pressure will release on its own um, when it reaches a certain level so yeah really good design here with the nipple i'm really big fan of it i also like the fact that there are no graphics on the body which makes it great the only thing that you have the only graphics that you have are are the Furious logo at the top here which doesn't get scratched by the water cage, bottle cage and it's also available um, this this bottle is also available in multiple colors I believe blue and red I think uh, the one that I have here is clear yeah if you're gonna use this for non cycling use for example you might want to put it in your backpack and go for hiking or when you're going out uh, I suggest uh, using this cap instead because if you if it's in the back and if you if you have it squeezed around among other things hard objects it might the water will come out so it's always good to have this in at hand to uh, to cover up the noz nozzle so you don't uh, spill your water in your backpack so yeah that concludes my review of the furious aerodynamics water bottle i hope you found this video useful if you did please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and till the next video i will see you again goodbye